this video will be talking about how to import contacts from LinkedIn. So let's head over to your contacts page. If your list is empty, you'll find a handy import button right in the middle of the page. But the actual interface to import profiles is here at the top left. This will show you all the methods of how you can add someone into your repository. But what we'll be covering in this video is how to source from LinkedIn. This page gives us a proper documentation on all the sourcing methods on LinkedIn that we can utilize. But to summarize things, there's basically two types of import methods, a individual import and a bulk import. You can in fact import any profile that you've specifically opened, and you can do so both automatically or on click. And you can also import from any bulk listing that you have opened, which can either be a search, a group, a event, a post, and you can even import from company searches to add them to your accounts page instead of adding them to the contacts page. But we can get more into detail about accounts later on. All these imports are compatible with both the standard LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, and LinkedIn Recruiter. This also means that if you're using Sales Navigator, you can import from your saved Sales Navigator leads and Sales Navigator accounts. And if you're using LinkedIn Recruiter, you can import from your recruiter pipelines. There's even at the very top a handy shortcut to import all your first connections. So if you already have a nice network and you want to start more efficiently making use of that network, simply press the first connection import button and you'll be prompted to begin importing them. The entire process will be automated for you, so you'll just end up having all your first connections nicely added into your contact list. But that aside, let's see how we can import new contacts that we haven't already added into our repository. You can both press either on these buttons directly, but all it actually takes is to just head over to LinkedIn. So let's do just that. All it takes to import someone from LinkedIn is to simply press on your drop-in extension, found at the very top right of your browser. If you don't have it visible directly from this interface, you can press on the jigsaw puzzle icon. This will show all the extensions you currently have installed, and you can also automatically find a pin icon so that they become more easily accessible at the very top of your browser at all times. With that said, to import someone, simply open either the listing or the profile that you want to extract from. If we open, for example, James, if I want to add James into my contact list, all I need to do is simply open his profile and press the Drupin extension. With that done, Drupin will automatically extract his profile and any available contact details. In James' case, we already had a few, as I'll be censoring for privacy reasons. From this interface, we can then also directly start interacting with data about them. And this is a two-way synchronization. So if I, for example, assign James into a job pipeline, say for example, our Java developer pipeline, we can do so directly from the extension. And if I at any time were to close this menu and open it again, accordingly, since James is already in our drop-in repository, instead of re-importing them again, it instead shows us their profile and all the details we've added about them. It also shows us a event timeline of what's been going on with James in particular. In fact, if I open this, I can see a handy event timeline of when I've imported them and also that I've now assigned them to my Java developer job. Any other interaction I have with James will also be tracked, but we'll go more into detail on that on a different video. More in detail on the individual extractions. If I don't want to each time simply press the extension and extract a profile, I can even do so seamlessly. This can be done by heading over to your settings page at the top right. From here, you can find an option to auto-import profiles. What this does is that without even having to click anything on the extension, by enabling this, simply by viewing a profile, they will automatically be added to my contact list. So if you like browsing through LinkedIn and not add anyone you've looked at automatically into the repository, simply enable that and start browsing. I can in fact say open Maggie's profile, Without needing to press the Drupin extension or doing anything whatsoever, I can straight away head back to my Drupin page and as soon as I refresh my contact list, I can find both James with the assigned job pipeline that we've given them and also Maggie that has been automatically imported for us. But aside from individual imports, same exact concept applies to bulk extractions as well. Instead of opening a profile that catches our interest, we can simply open a list of profiles that catches our interest. This can either be, as mentioned, groups, events, posts, or of course, searches. So let's go ahead and run a search. We can extract from any type of LinkedIn search. So this goes for both standard LinkedIn, sales navigator, or recruiter. You can customize all the filters to find exactly which type of listing 
you are most interested in, and once you have a nice listing that you want to add to your contact list, simply press the Drupal extension and a according bulk import interface will open for you. By default, 100 will already be added as the desired extractable amount, but you can customize this and set whatever number you want. Anything that LinkedIn loads into the list will be extractable. And directly from the bulk import, we can also assign job pipelines, tags, and annotations as well. So let's go right ahead and add all these 100 Java developers into our Java developer job pipeline. With that done, all it takes is to just press the start import button and the extraction process will automatically begin for us. As soon as this finishes, we'll automatically be redirected to our contacts page where we can then actually view and interact with everyone we've added into our repository. Once the first phase completes, this is the current first phase. We can in fact see that the newly imported profiles have been added to our listing, but haven't been fully imported yet. This is because additional details like their entire job histories, their companies, company sizes, skills and extra info is still to be added, but we already have all the necessary information to actually start interacting with them. So if I wanted to, I can just select them and start running an operation. But let's go more in detail on that on a later video. The full profile import that will then finish adding all the necessary information for every profile so that they become a stable asset to our database will automatically run in the background for us. And we can also monitor how it's proceeding by heading over to our operations monitor page. The notification number shows how many operations we currently have either completed or queued. If we in fact open this, we can find the completed status of both the import for James and Maggie and their respective timestamps and also the queued full profile import that has now automatically just started this very second. As we can see, Daniel Britton has just been fully imported. In fact, their company information has been added as well. I can directly press on Daniel Britton and this will show us everything about their profile, their summaries, professional experiences, job descriptions, educations, accomplishments, skills, and well, basically anything they specified on their LinkedIn account. This can also include if they're open to work and the various job seeking status information about the job that they're looking for. We can browse through all these details by using the various buttons on our profile manager page, but as to not overcomplicate things, let's go more in detail on that on a later video. Let's focus on simply importing and filling up our database. If I head back to my contact list, I can also see that Drupin has automatically already activated my Java developer filter and is specifically looking for everyone that is currently assigned. This is because since we've already added these profiles into a job when we've imported them, Drupin will automatically apply that job as a filter so that we can easily see exactly everyone that we've just imported in the recent operation instead of seeing our entire database. That's basically all it takes to import someone from a LinkedIn listing. Simply open either the profiles or the lists you're interested in, press the extension and define what data you want to add to them. And that's basically it. All the rest is then done automatically for you.